Welcome to Amateur Redneck Workshop. I'm Harold and this is part two of making the first gear for uh, my quest for metric threads. I uh, right it off when I got started I didn't think I would show you guys any of the gear making but then I got to thinking well I got new viewers who probably haven't looked you know back at the video where I made the gears before so I'll show you a lot of this. Now I don't show you as much of the calculation as Mr. Pete does because I've got a spreadsheet that I just put the numbers into that I copied from Keith Rucker and uh, it, it tells me you know the diameter of the uh, gear and all that sort of thing so I don't have to do that calculation and then my rotary table which is not the standard 4 to 40 or whatever ratio mine's like a 92 to 1 or something it's got a chart with it that says you want to make this many gears a, a, t a gear with this many teeth use plate such and such and use ring 28 44 whatever on that plate so I don't have to do anything in there either so I don't show the calculations for you know setting up the rotary table I just pick it off of the chart so what we're going to do today is we're going to just immediately launch right on into uh, and doing the video and then when we get through with that we'll go see if 22 Plankster's got anything new for me to watch alright so let's just get right on with it okay so I think that's got the gear aligned pretty good gear blank I'm only going to be cutting a half an inch and that's over maybe an inch and a half there no noticeable movement and this guy is, you know, it's touching. So I think now I need to get the up and down part of it right, and we'll start to cut the gear. Okay, so I've got her set up here. Uh, I hope correctly. I had to go back and do it over again because the first time around I put the wrong cutter on there. I've been cheap enough to use the same piece of paper twice and I thought I could read it but I couldn't and uh, <laughs> yeah I thought I was doing 40 teeth and I said wait a minute this is an awful lot smaller gear than, than the, the last one I did with 40 teeth I went back and looked and really it's supposed to be 24 which meant I had to swap out the cutter I already had the cutter on there had it set to you know the proper height uh, but I was lucky I my brain worked a little bit there right at the last minute. All right, let's uh, let's start off. I'll <clears throat> I'll keep the camera on maybe for a cut or two, and then we'll uh, you know put you to sleep until I get the gear cut, pretty much. I think I got the right speed and everything. I'm not actually turning the table so I got to figure out what I did wrong all right I'm down to about the last couple of teeth so I guess it's time for you guys to watch the show to 
advance the table. Not a whole lot of fun. Takes a long time. It's sort of boring. cut the last tooth right now. There we are. Now I get to take it out and see if I've got any long, you know, big teeth and small teeth and that sort of thing. Look at that, nasty. Fine little aluminum chips on everything. There you go. I don't know if you can hold it if you guys see it or not, but there it is. From where I'm standing, it looked like all the teeth are the same size. So this ought to do the job. Now all I gotta do is get it off the mandrel and make a blank for the next size gear. And so on until I've made all the stupid gears. Well, there it is taken off the mandrel and cleaned up. I had to kind of heat it in the oven a little bit for it to come off the mandrel. But all the teeth are the same size, looking good. So, of course, I've still got to cut the little ears, you know, the two uh, keyways in both sides of this thing. But uh, you saw me do that about three videos back. And it'll be the same as making the bushings. That seems like two rednecks to pick up truck that drove into the lumber yard. One of them got out of the truck and went in the office and said, I need some four by twos. Guy in the office says, Don't you mean two by fours? 
Red next, well, wait a minute, I'll go check. Go down to the truck, comes back and says, yeah, yeah, I mean two for fours. So the guy behind the counter says, well, how long do you need them? Red next, says, wait a minute, I'll get to go check. He goes back out to the truck, comes back in a minute, and he says, well, he says, for a long time, we're going to build a house. Well, that's all, folks. Uh, Y'all try to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Leave a comment if you got something to say. And above all, remember, keep on keeping on. Bye now.